Hi everyone, this is Cannon here. Now that we know the cast of the Super Mario Bros. movie produced by Illumination Studios, I want to talk about five things that I would love to see in the Super Mario Bros. movie now that we kind of have a feel for it. The first thing is I want this film to be expansive. One of the great things about Mario is exploring the different worlds, whether it be jungle, ice, sky, lava, rock, so on and so forth. The Mario games are very adventurous, and I hope that this film explores that. Say we will about Illumination Studios, they're great at putting you in the world of whatever it be, a supervillain, pets, and so much more. And I hope that they do that with this movie. I'm not just making this comparison because Chris Pratt is in this film, but I want this movie to be similar to the Pixar film Onward, where you start from one area, then you kind of go through this adventure. For me, this movie probably starts off in Brooklyn, seeing Mario and Luigi's origin, which I'm okay on. Then uh, it would be cool if they go through different worlds of the Mushroom Kingdom. While I don't think this is going to happen, I think it would be a special treat if they put in a land from a very like neat place, like somewhere from Sunshine 64 Galaxy or even Yoshi's Island from Super Mario World. I doubt that will happen, but the first point I want to make is I just want this film to have this adventurous feeling. The second point I want to make, it kind of goes hand in hand with the first one, but number two is that I want this film to be fast paced. One reason why I think video game movies don't work a ton is that they don't really capture the game's spirit. It's hard to. Playing a game and watching a um, film are two different things. So how do you translate Mario to movies? Well, it's very hard to. But one way I think you could do it is have the feel of the games. As someone who's played Mario pretty much their entire life, the games are very fast-paced and to the point. Plot happens, complete the level, go through these obstacles, avoid the enemies, take a short breather, and on to the next level. I want this movie to be pretty short, probably an hour and a half or less. I want it to be very fast-moving, similar to films like Sonic the Hedgehog and the Lego Movie, both of those films were really fast paced and I think that adds rewatchability and I think that's a way that they can really have this game feel like Mario has had that fast paced. The third point I want to make is, this might sound a bit weird, is Bowser turning good by the end of the movie. If the main thing of Bowser in this movie is just kidnap Peach, Mario and Luigi fight him, Bowser dies, that's going to be boring because that happens in all the games. I think Bowser turning good at the end, sacrificing himself maybe, could be something that makes sense. It's happened before in games like Super Paper Mario, Bowser joins Mario and crew's side. And I could see it happening in this film, especially since Jack Black is playing Bowser. Jack Black plays very likable characters. That's why I'm iffy about him playing Bowser. But if they do something where Bowser turns good at the end, I could see Jack Black pulling it off and also they have Kevin Michael Richardson you know very popular actor playing K-Mick and I could see a world where K-Mick becomes the main villain I don't know but that could be something neat and add some good emotion to the film of Bowser turning good kind of like the Lego movie where the main villain president backslash lord business turns good at the end of the film the fourth thing I want to see is have there be some vehicle usage in the film. Basically, whether that be something like Mario Kart or even the minecarts from like Donkey Kong Country. Starting with the minecarts, that's such an iconic part of Donkey Kong. And since DK is going to be in the film played by Seth Rogen, which I still love that casting choice, I think that could be a very fun sequence. And I hope that Mario Kart Kart's in this movie. Mario Kart's one of those things that even if you don't really know Mario, it's still very recognizable. And I could see that happening. The kind of just I'm getting of this film is taking elements of Mario, but doing them a bit differently. And that's why some of these takes are a bit different because that's what seems like Illumination's going. So I could see Mario Kart in the movie. I think that would be cool. And then the fifth thing is a great soundtrack. Now, I want this to be a combination of things. First of all, some songs from the games, probably the 1 1 thing theme. The athletic theme from Super Mario World. Having original soundtracks I think are very important to Mario and I want that to be in the movie. The second one is remixes of those songs. That could be cool. Maybe some you know different instrumental remixes. The third, and I know people want to roll their eyes, but pop culture songs. Pop culture songs can be used well 
And I know Illumination sometimes doesn't do the best with it, but it could make sense on Mario. You know, Super Mario Odyssey has that, I mean, the main theme of Mario Odyssey, Jump Up Superstar. It kind of sounds like a pop culture song in a sense. So I think having some pop culture music would be neat. And also the fourth is having some unique music to this film. One thing I like about Illumination is they have some good themes. And, um, you know, like from Despicable Me, the spy theme is pretty catchy. I wouldn't mind having new music in this film. It seems like this film is going a different route than Mario. And I want them to kind of own that in a sense. So anyway, those are five things I'd love to see in the Super Mario Bros. movie. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. And until then, everyone, this has been Tanner. Take care and have a good one.